The Army uh, taught me a lot of things that I still use to this day. I mean, the concept of selfless service is really reinforced in the Army. First things they really teach is if you take care of your people, they'll take care of you. The wheelchair was not in the plans. Not for me and probably not for the Army, I'm sure. I've been involved in uh, sports uh, from actually running for pretty much as long as I can remember. Well, I wanted to continue to do that even after I was injured. So I talked some of my friends on the wheelchair basketball team to uh, do some races. I saw the wheelchairs that people were using and I thought they, we could do a much better job than that. And then as I was going through college, uh, well, one, I was also racing, so I was constantly building better racing wheelchairs. It was the conversation I had with uh, Stephen Warbeth, who was my primary advisor, basically called me in his office one day and asked me what I wanted to do when I graduated. And he said, um, you're, you're a brilliant engineer. You understand people with disabilities needs, and they, they need you. And if, if you don't go into this field, why should anybody else? And you, you, can, you can make a real difference if you do this. HO is a multidisciplinary team full of people from all sorts of different backgrounds trying to create assistive technology for people with disabilities. The other basic premise of HO is that um, it's driven by solving real problems. And we've, we've solved some, maybe solved some, addressed some very tenacious problems and it takes tenacity to solve them. And it takes teamwork and it takes time and it takes effort. But the reward is, is improving people's lives. And do you realize that all of them have friends and family and loved ones and it impacts them too. What both inventions have in common is freedom. Really, freedom from pain and freedom of mobility. I have been ever so grateful for the little, little things that he does for you to make sure that you succeed in life. He's done so much for uh, other people that he doesn't talk about. If I go back to the Army, I'm sort of driven by the selfless service and making an impact on others' lives. Yeah, I've been very fortunate to be surrounded by great colleagues, great students, and I have had for a long time. And that makes me optimistic. They're changing people's lives. That's really, in the bottom line, that's what we're trying to do.